this is going to be another cigar review, and this is going to be the um, Ashton Cabinet, one of my favorites, my two favorites in the world, alternates with Romeo Vintage, and um, a little bit of the setting. I got this spotlight on in your face. Sorry about that, but um, if I turn it off, it's like a little dim. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work. On is a little bright. Maybe I can edit it later. Um, and um, yeah, so we got this cool switch. Turns the lights on and off. Uh, put that aside. And uh, tonight we're drinking this Banfi Chianti Classico Reserva, which is uh, my current favorite Italian Sangiovese based wine. It's like 17 bucks a bottle, and it's just Let's try this out, and um, hopefully it'll turn out better than the last one that we reviewed. You ready? So I sort of failed to do the recommended lighting technique where you hit it red first and then smoke it, but uh, it's okay. You can just immediately tell this cigar is something really special. Um, how do you describe the flavor? I don't know. I can't do that thing that people do, like it's uh, current and nutmeg and blackberry I don't know it's just it's just a wonderful flavor uh, very easy smoke this is a pyramid shape with a V cut in it using that V cutter that I've talked about in the past um, make sure it gets a little more lit here interesting that I could have I can see the camera and normally you can't really see yourself lighting a cigar you have to rely on your buddy to say yeah it's lit or you know, it's got a black spot on it or whatever just slightly more that's got to be lit don't you think yeah it's just just wonderful taste um, goes with the wine I think Romeo is still my favorite but um, this is up there like eight or nine I think out of ten if not 10, because it is the standard, one of the two standards. Cohiba Cuban being another. Let's, um, let's hold it with this hand and see what we're wearing today. That is my classic Rolex sub. Um, I wanted this watch for a really long time. And ever since I saw it in the airport in Turks and Caicos, I, I didn't really want to buy it there. I'm holding it upside down. Um, because you never really know when you're buying something in another country. Plus, it was probably more than the uh, import restrictions allow. But it stuck in my mind for years. And I had, you know, some other watches, um, some of which I've recently sold, a Breitling and a Bauman Mercier, and um, anyway, some nice ones too, uh, including Patek Philippe. But I finally got this one, the Sub, which is kind of in, in some people's estimation the holy grail of watches and I swear it was the only thing I wore for like five years um, and I thought I would never buy another watch or even wear my Patek which is a 5140 grand complication it, it's a serious watch I would wear it to like you know, special occasions and stuff but this was I would wear this you know all the time until finally the dam broke this year for my birthday I got three watches and now I'm back into watches again and I got that Venezia to go that uh, I reviewed earlier. Um, I'll probably do reviews of these uh, as well, but I'm not going to do much with it right now because we're we're doing cigar right now. Um, another interesting tidbit: my uh, business partner Dave described me as I wear like you know, Carhartt hoodies and unlaced boots, basically looking kind of like scrubby, and a really nice watch. Um, one of my goals this year is going to be to get new clothes, uh, especially because I'm losing a tiny bit of weight and uh, there's an opportunity.
opportunity to do that. I think I went through like my Brooks Brothers phase when I had my own company, and um, and then I just got really practical and I wanted to wear stuff that's thick and rugged, and so it's Carhartt hoodies and LL Bean jeans because Carhartt jeans kind of suck. Uh, they really suck, actually, which is shocking. That's true. All right. All that to say, we're enjoying this wonderful cigar. Just perfect draw. You can see the smoke coming right out of the end. Um, really nice flavor. I think they're about 20 or 25 bucks a stick, as they say. And um, I just couldn't, couldn't recommend it highly enough. It's not super strong, like I said earlier. The real aficionado is like the dark black stuff, and they kind of look down on me for liking this light stuff. And this is probably uh, probably medium, medium bodied cigar, but too too strong, and I'm on my back, you know, or puking in the shower or something. For a guy like me, this is perfect. I don't need to be hardcore. All right, so we're gonna take a break, and we'll come back to it uh, in a little bit and see if it got any better or worse. Maybe I'll look up some words that people say about it and read them. All right. Pause. All right, we're back with the Ashton Cabinet Pyramid. Um, you can see it smoked down pretty well. It's like asymmetry, but it a wonderful draw throughout. Really pleasant smoke. And as I said before, I uh, I was going to read what other people said about it because I can't do the uh, flavor words. So let's do that. Um, by the way, this is the first time I'm recording a video using my laptop and I uh, hope it comes out all right. Earlier, I've got my <laughs> swivel chair and the wine is sort of next door here on a tall, skinny table and I was a little worried I would swerve and knock it over and that would make the video more interesting, but just would have sucked. Okay. Just picking the first three Ash and Cabinet reviews off of uh, off of the Google um, because I don't have the flavor words. We'll start with uh, Cigar Country, not one I'd heard of before. Um, upon firing up the Ash and Cabinet, I was greeted by the flavors I picked on the cold draw, which he claims are notes of hay and nuts hit the air. When picked from the humidor, a cold draw reveals nuts, haze, and cocoa. Uh, the first few draws were clean. Each puff produced a creamy, smooth smoke. Notes of cocoa, nuts, and hay graced my palate. So that's what Cigar Country is saying. You know, one thing when you get down kind of low, you got to keep it going or else it kind of, it can compact and, uh, and you get like tar buildup or something that's, really strong and unpleasant and you kind of have to burn it hot take the label off at this point they say not to do that until you have to but i don't want to have that super strong tar oh and by the way the light is off the light is off you can see me because i got the a lot of backlight from the laptop here all right now holt.com which i guess is another cigar vendor they say the ashton cabinet and, I, and by the way um they're reviewing you know different formats, but it's the same tobacco, and um, I was going to go with the flavor, but notably from Holtz, uh, they talk about, I can honestly attest Ashton Cabinet is pretty much the same exact cigar today as it was when I smoked it a decade and a half ago for the first time. That in and of itself is impressive. What's more intriguing is the fact that Ashton Cabinet is hardly a rudimentary cigar made in nonchalant fashion. Do they make cigars in nonchalant fashions? I don't know. Now the money. Uh, a shimmering blonde Connecticut shade wrapper leaf hugs a mouth-watering amalgam of all Dominican tobaccos that are meticulously harvested, selected, and set down to rest for an extensive duration. The result is undeniable. Naturally creamy flavors hit the palate right out of the gates on the cold draw and commence coming to life as soon as your light hits the foot. I wish I could write like that. I consider myself a pretty good writer, but God, you know, uh, I've always found like automobile writers are like super good and uh, cigar writers apparently are too. Not only can I not come up with the 
flavor words, but I can't even write like that. All right, last one, um, Cigar Aficionado. I had reviewed the number two. And um, they say the smoke is earthy but grassy with notes of black pe pepper, black pepper, and a vegetal edge. Mild. Well, no wonder I like it. And, uh, and that's it. So I would conclude by saying uh, it's still one of my favorites, and it probably always will be. And I hope you try it if you like cigars at all. Don't hate me for liking lighter cigars. They're good. Have a great night.